What's going on everybody? This is Joseph from Nerds and Matrimony. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. And my goodness, has it been a while. <laughs> um, so, if any of you are keeping track, you may have noticed that the last episode was uploaded on July 4th. And it is now October 7th. Yes, it has been three months since I've uploaded a video for this Let's Play. Um, now, for good reason, and I will go over that uh, with you guys. Meanwhile, I'm going to figure out how I get back on aggro. <laughs> it's been a while. I <laughs> can't remember the controls. Anyway, so uh, in the last episode, we took out Hydrus the Leviathan in the giant lake, and now we're going after our eighth Colossus. Now, one thing I will say about the game real quick, um, you're going to find, uh, if you're playing along, or if you're just playing this game in general for the first time, uh, Colossus number 8, this is the point in the game where the Colossi start to get significantly harder. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I say harder. Harder and more annoying. Um, and, uh, yeah, Colossus number 7 is really kind of the turning point of the game. Uh, the first 7 are fairly easy. Um, from 8 onward, uh, they're gonna start getting a lot harder. So anyways, just to fill you guys in on what's been going on, uh, the reason I haven't uploaded a video in a long time is because we actually moved uh, in the month of July. Um, I actually got a job uh, teaching and coaching in Gerald, which is about 45 minutes north of Austin. So we pretty much spent the entire month of July packing everything up, uh, getting all of our bills paid off in Ganado, getting all, everything, make sure everything was turned off when we left Ganado. Uh, finding a house here in Gerald, getting everything turned on here as far as water and electricity and all that stuff goes, getting all of our bills set up here, uh, me coming inside of my contracts, uh, getting all this orientation stuff done, new teacher stuff and things like that, and as well as going to coaching school. And uh, yeah, that was like all in the month of July. <laughs> And then August rolls up, and uh, two day starts, uh, in service starts, uh, school starts, football starts, um, cross country starts because I actually got um, I'm actually the head cross country coach at the high school, which is awesome. It's like a dream come true. It's one of my dream jobs to be a head cross country coach. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, everything just kind of started, and um, I've just been overwhelmed with just everything and my schedule and um, you know getting back into the school routine and all that and uh, <laughs> like I just I come home every day and I'm just like bleh <laughs> so um, it's not that I forget it's not that I like keep forgetting to record videos or upload videos because um, like there have been days where I'm like you know I really need to put another video up or really need to put it, but I'm like I really just don't feel like doing it by the way, I don't remember aggro walking through this area. Um, I'm pretty sure the last time I played this game, aggro could run through this area. I don't know why aggro cannot run right now. Maybe on the last time I played, he did walk through this area. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch, and if it is, good thing I got it on recording. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just had a lot of stuff been going on the past few months and um, which is why I haven't uploaded the video um, but now I finally am so yay so yes I have not abandoned the channel I've not abandoned my let's play we're still doing it and uh, we're still trudging along here um, we're also very excited because we we found a new church home at Celebration Church which is like on the border between Georgetown and Round Rock and uh, it is an amazing church with an amazing yeah. pastor it's only a 17 year old church which if you consider church age that's kind of young um, but it's an amazing church uh, we actually joined the prayer team uh, and uh, doing the service this morning um, my wife actually got to pray with a couple people and uh, we actually went out to lunch with them and it was really nice so uh, everything's going really good uh, in our lives um, unfortunately though my wife was not able to find an art teaching job in the area um, she applied to like eight different schools and didn't get hired, which was kind of disappointing, but you know, whatever. So that being said, she is, uh, she's doing some subbing here and there, and, uh, she's doing her own, um, 
personal like freelance artwork commission type deal just to bring in some extra money um, and hopefully you know she can get a job uh, teaching next year you know God willing um, and if not you know we'll just see what happens so anyways um, the last hint that Dorman gave us was that the, our next Colossus was a tail trapped within a pail and when we get into the arena you're gonna see what he means here uh, now this particular Colossus is actually um, a pretty small one um, we have actually I think we've faced a couple of small ones already um, actually no never mind we haven't <laughs> um, this is the first Colossus that you're gonna face that's actually kind of small-ish um, but yeah and fun fact, this is actually the only Colossus in the game that has a Japanese name and not a Latin name. And I will be telling you its name here shortly. But for now, I'm going to take a drink of Dodge Pepper. Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay. So, um, <laughs> that's pretty much how the second half of my summer went. Um, how was your guys' summer? Uh, did you guys go on any fun vacations? Did you do anything fun over the summer? Uh, for those of you who are going back to school, how's school going? Yeah, just kind of let me know in the comments, you know, how your summer vacation went, how your school year is going so far, and, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to Koromori, the Wall Shadow. Like I said, this is the only Colossus in the game that has a Japanese name and not a Latin name. Now, this fight can either go one of two ways for you. This fight can either go really quickly, or it can take a very long time to finish this fight. Um, so basically what you have to do is, um... He's called the Wall Shadow for a reason because he can actually climb the walls. And what you want to what you want to do is run around and shoot him with an arrow and get his attention, get him to climb up a wall, and then run over to the opposite side of the arena of the arena and shoot two of his legs. And when you do that, he will actually fall down to the ground and land on his back and be stunned. However, the duration of the stun is proportional to how far he falls. So basically, if he falls from a larger heights then he will be stunned for a longer period of time allowing you to get more stabs in. He has two glyphs on his uh, belly, his underside um, so yeah you want to make sure that he falls from a good distance so that way he will be stunned long enough for you, get, for you to get at least maybe two or three stabs in. My recommendation, my big tip for this uh, fight though is uh, just take it slow um, you know, don't don't try to rush it because if you do, you're gonna get destroyed. Now he does shoot electric bolts out of his mouth, and if you notice, they cause a little bit of an orange mist to form. That mist will damage your health really quickly, um, even if you're just barely touching it. So if you see that mist, you better get out of there. And he is right on top of me right now. I actually tried to use a strategy I saw online with this fight, um, where you hit him from a gets attention from my very high uh, points in the arena. There's the miss, by the way. Get out of that. But anyways, you get his attention from a very high point, and then you try to get down really low and shoot him from the ground. That way, you don't have to fall very far to get to him. However, um, it didn't really work for me. Um, I tried a couple times. It doesn't really work for me. So now I just go back to my old strategy. So see, he's already down here on the ground. So... Granted, it's been a while since I've done this fight, so I don't, I didn't exactly remember the layout of the arena that well. It took me a while to remember how the arena was laid out. Once I figured it out, though, it was uh, pretty easy. I don't think this is a very hard fight. Um, it's just very tedious. Um, I think the really, really the only difficulty in it is, you know, this the mist. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think this is a difficult fight so much as it is tedious um, you know I just think it's hard to get him to you know get up to a point where you want him to get to and fall down 
You know, that's really the hard part. I don't think the Colossus himself is very difficult to fight. So, this is really more of a puzzle battle than anything else. So, I guess it wouldn't really count this one as being hard. But believe me, all the ones after this one are going to be very, very hard. Well, I wouldn't say very, very hard, but significantly harder than the ones we've fought thus far. So anyways, I'm trying to get a good view on him right here, and I can't get the proper angle to shoot an arrow at it. So, I was like, okay, you know what? I could probably make it around this ledge right here and get his attention. And uh, when I get over there, he immediately sees me and starts shooting at me. Yep, there it comes. It's charging up. So I decided to go to the next opening and shoot him from there. Yeah, that mist is very dangerous. So I was going to shoot him and I noticed he was already climbing up. So I said, screw it, let's just jump down. See if I can get a good shot on him. And here I kept pushing the wrong button to move the camera. Once again, it's been a while since I played this. Uh, man, I love me some Dodge Driver. So I tried to go back down again, but unfortunately he's already coming down. So I tried to get a shot on him here, but I mean he was already too close to the ground anyways, so he would not have been stunned for very long. So now I'm just like, okay, screw this, let's go back to my old method. So the method that I originally used to fight this guy is to obviously get to a high point, get his attention, and then stay on the same level and run all the way around to the other side, and then drop down maybe two levels. Uh, you'll take a little bit of fall damage, but not a whole lot. But like drop down two levels, then shoot him down, and as he's falling, you switch over to your sword and fall down. And uh, you, again, you'll take some fall damage, but it should not be enough to make you panic. So that's what I'm going to start doing here at this point. So I'm going to get his attention. So I got his attention. You see him shook right. You see him shake right there. So now I'm going to run all the way around to the other side of the arena and just drop down a couple levels and then shoot his legs from there. And uh, he actually stays stunned quite a bit uh, in this part right here. So, I mean, you see, the fall damage I took was very minimal. So, yeah, he actually stays stunned quite a bit right here. Um, well, once I get him to fall down. And I totally forgot, by the way, that she, yes, you actually can shoot him through these windows. You would think you wouldn't be able to, but you actually can. I'm really sucking right now with my aiming. <laughs> Once again, it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, so I think I get him right here. Yes. So, yeah, I got one of his legs. There's the other one. Now he's gonna fall. Ooh, so yeah, he fell from a very long distance, so he's actually gonna stay stunned quite a bit. I'm actually gonna get three stabs in right here on him. Um, usually I wouldn't recommend going higher than two, but... I was able to get three in right here. When he starts shaking, that's when you want to get off, because that means he's getting back up. Like, I mean, he just shook from the stab right there, but you'll, you'll notice when he starts to get back up. I probably could have gotten another stab in, but I really didn't want to chance it. I mean, he was still stunned right there. I probably could have gotten four stabs in right there. But um, I actually would have had to go over to the other glyph, because that glyph actually disappeared. So I would have had to get up and walk across his body to the other glyph. And in that time, he probably would have gotten up. Because he actually gets up fairly quickly. Like, when he starts moving, you immediately want to jump off. Because he's going to roll over pretty quickly. Um, and then he'll just trample on you. Um, it did happen to me the first time I fought this guy. He actually did roll over on me. It didn't kill me, but it almost did. So, if he tramples on you enough, he can kill you. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get his attention, run around to the other side, drop down, shoot his legs, rinse and repeats, and there you go. Now, uh, just to kind of bring up some topics for discussion, um, there have been a lot of good video games uh, coming out here recently, um, and there have been a lot of games that I've been wanting to play. Um, 
So what recent games are you guys excited about? I know uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild is a huge topic right now. Um, I'm eventually going to get a Wii U. Yes, a Wii U, not a Switch. <laughs> I'm going to get a Wii U and get a copy of that game. Uh, so I can also get Super Mario Maker along with it. <laughs> and the new Smash Brothers. So uh, That game and then um, the new Assassin's Creed game that just uh, came out. I know a lot of people were excited about it. Or, no, it hadn't came out yet. Um, but I know you can pre-order it right now. Uh, but I know a lot of people are excited about that game. I'm still working my way through the Assassin's Creed series. Um, I'm on Brotherhood right now. Um, I don't have all the games. I've only got up to Black Flag, but... Uh, anyways. Um, but yeah, there, there are some other games that I want to play. Um, like Horizon Zero Dawn, I've heard that's a very good game. Um, among some others. There are also some games that are not recent that I really want to get into playing. Um, I really want to get into the Uncharted series. I've been watching some playthroughs of those games uh, on Steven Play's channel. And uh, those games look like they're a lot of fun. Um, uh, what else? Um, oh, I've been playing Dark Souls. Uh, yes. You heard me right. I have been playing Dark Souls. I am insane enough to play that game. <laughs> um, and it's... Uh, I'll be honest. Th the game's not as hard as everyone makes it out to be. I mean, yeah, it's freaking difficult as all get out, but it's... I don't think it's really unfair. I mean, it just... It challenges your skills in the, as a gamer in a way a lot of games nowadays really don't. Um, but I think, like, if you really practice your skills and you really hone in on, you know, building your character and what, you, what type of character you want to be, um... I mean, yeah, it's still going to be difficult, but it's not going to be as difficult as people make it out to be. I mean, granted, I'm not even like halfway through the game yet. So I'm still in Blight Town, and uh, Blight Town's giving me some difficulty. But, uh, but I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I've had my fair share of deaths, but you know, not to the point where like they're unfair. I mean, every death that I've had so far in the game has literally been my fault. So, anyways. I think I'm going to finish him off right here. He fell a good distance, so... And by the way, um, remember, uh, after we defeated Phaedra, the fourth Colossus, we retreated to a cutscene. After you defeat, uh, every four Colossi, you will get a cutscene. So we're going to get another cutscene after we defeat this guy. So here we go. Down goes the mighty wall, Shadow. Alright, oh no, here it comes. Here it comes. No, run away, run away! <laughs> Bad camera angle. <sighs> yes, I would like to save. <laughs> Alrighty, 8 out of 16, we are halfway there. Tell you what, Wonder is looking pretty raggedy. 
I don't know if anyone else notices that. He does not look good. Meanwhile, she's actually looking more alive. Coincidence? Uh, maybe. Alrighty, so next time on Shadow of the Colossus, we're going to be taking on my second favorite fight in the game, but we're going to be fighting my favorite looking Colossus in the game. I love the way the next Colossus is designed. It's so freaking epic. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Joseph from Nerds of Matrimony saying I will see you guys next time, and hopefully it won't be three months before the next time. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Goodbye.